Hello, welcome to this class called Be Here Now. Why Be Here Now? I don't know if you're anything like me. I know lots of people are like that, but sometimes you're here physically in the present moment, but you're either thinking of stuff that have happened in the past and you should have done differently, or you're already projecting yourself in what you need to do this afternoon, this evening, the following month. And it can have a direct impact, you know, how many times have you gone on a walk or have you started watching a movie and the next thing you know, you're not enjoying the walk or watching the movie anymore. You're thinking of what you need to go and buy in Tesco. You're wondering what you should answer to that client. You're wondering what you're going to get for your mother-in-law's birthday, whatever. But you're not here enjoying what you're doing. It can also affect our interactions with people, you know, how many times do you find yourself talking to someone and then wishing they would like just hurry up a bit so that you could move on to the next thing. And this session is to go against all of that, is to bring you back right here, right now, calm everything down so that you can just enjoy what's happening, just attend to what's in front of you and stop the overwhelm of thoughts going from past to present to future non-stop. So we're not going to need any props. We're going to be starting standing in the mountain pose. So if you'd like to unroll your mat and then come to stand with your feet about hip width apart. And the knees are soft. The tailbone is tucked under a little bit. We're going to roll the shoulders up and then back and down, relaxing the arms, stretching through the crown of your head. And here you can either close your eyes or gaze ahead of you. Whichever option you've chosen, taking your awareness to your breath. For a moment, just watching the breath coming in through the nose and out through the nose. Being aware of the coolness of the air as you breathe in. Slightly warmer air being breathed out. One more of these breaths. And you're opening your eyes, crossing the right hand over the left. We're going to breathe in to take the arms up and breathe out, down. Left hand in front, breathe in and out. It's as if you're taking a jumper off, breathing in, lift and breathe out to let it all go. Changing, alternating the hand that's in front and feeling that as you're breathing out, you're letting go of those worries of the future, those regrets of the past, just breathing it out, breathing in into this moment and breathing everything else out. Pausing with your arms down and then taking them up into prayer above your head and drawing them down to your heart. We're now going to sink into the knees a little and take the arms up and back. Breathing in to sink into the knees and stretch. Breathing out back. Moving with your breath, finding your rhythm. Last one. 
allowing the arms to relax and starting to roll your shoulders back and forward. Breathing in back, breathe out forward. Again, connecting with your breath, finding your rhythm. There might be some creaks and cracks in the shoulders, if that's the case, nothing to worry about. Obviously, if there is pain, taking the arms down, but otherwise just enjoying the release of the shoulders. And then relax your arms down one more time. And we're now going to take the arms at the level of the heart, as if you were holding a big ball. We're going to breathe in to draw the hands in and breathe out to ease them away, keeping the elbows breathing in, breathing out. Again, connecting with the breath. Breathing in into this moment. Breathing out, relax into it. One more of these. Posing with your arms out, taking your feet to shoulder width. We're going to breathe in at the front and breathe out to twist to the right, only as far as comfortable. Breathing in front, breathing out left. And again, moving with the breath, your body, your breath, your rhythm. And going one more time to each side. Coming back to the center, bending the knees, placing the hands on the thighs with the fingertips towards the center. I'm going to move sideways so you can see my back a little. Tummy muscles are engaged. Back is nice and long. We're going to move into the standing cat. So pushing the tailbone away, allowing the spine looking forward. And then tucking it under, round the back and look down. Breathing in to extend forward. Breathing out round. And again, moving with your breath. Finding your rhythm. Feeling the spine moving like a wave from the base of the spine all the way into the neck. Two more. When you've completed your second one, coming back to center. And now we're going to keep the knees bent, keep the hands on the thighs and dip the right shoulder and elbow down. If it's comfortable for your neck, you can turn the head to look past the left shoulder. Coming back to the center, dipping left shoulder and elbow down, turning to the right if it's comfortable. Back to the center. Moving with the breath, we're going to breathe out to twist. Breathing in center. Breathe out other side. Breathing in center. Keeping that going. Feeling the twist from the waist up into the shoulder blades and the neck. 
going one more time to each side. Finishing when your left shoulder and elbow go down. And then come back to the center and relax in your forward bend. Keeping the legs, the feet about shoulder width apart, relaxing the whole of the back, maybe giving it a bit of a wriggle to release the shoulders. Don't worry if you're nowhere near the floor, just allowing the upper body to release, to let go with each out breath. One more full breath. And I'll get hold of each elbow with the opposite hand. Visualize the middle line between the feet and take your right elbow just above that middle line. And hold it there, breathing comes to be. And uh, taking the left elbow above that middle ground. If the back of your legs feels tight, you can bend the knees, make it a bit more comfortable. Coming back to the center, relax the hands down. And now walk your feet back to hip width. I'd like you to bend the knees deeply, pull your tummy in, and slowly uncurl. Taking your time as you come all the way back up. And when you get here, close your eyes or gaze ahead of you. Taking a moment to connect with your breath. Feeling yourself standing tall. Feet anchored to the ground. Knees still soft. Spine is tall. Crown of the head. Stretching towards the sky. And we're going to finish by breathing in to take the arms out and up into prayer. And breathe out to take them down to your heart. Giving yourself a little bow. Well done. I hope you like this class. I hope you found that it really brought you back right here in your body away from all the thoughts and all the noise that goes on in your head. And feel free to come back to this class whenever you feel a little bit overwhelmed, a little bit too scattered for your liking. And if you've liked this and you'd like to do more yoga for your body and your mind in a way that is easy and accessible, you will find in the comment a link to my three-day uh, little mini program to get on top of your emotions, which contains three different techniques that really help you to cultivate a calm, tranquil mind, relaxed body in just three days. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.